The sports hub, Trivandrum, commonly known as Greenfield International Stadium, and formerly known as Trivandrum International Stadium, is a multipurpose stadium in Kerala, used mainly for association football and cricket. The stadium is located at Karavadam in Tiruvananthapuram city, Kerala, India. It was built on 36 acres of land leased by the Kerala University for 94 lakh rupees per year for a period of 15 years. It is India's first DBOT design, build, operate and transfer model outdoor stadium. The Greenfield Stadium became India's 50th international cricket venue on the 7th of November 2017 when it hosted a T20I against New Zealand. On 1 November 2018, the venue hosted its first ODI. Facilities The ground is designed such that it can be used for international cricket and football. The playing arena in the stadium has been constructed in line with FIFA regulations and International Cricket Council norms. It has a seating capacity for 50,000 spectators. The stadium has been demarcated into four zones, where the north zone is dedicated for cricket, the east zone for football, and each zone has a players' lounge, gymnasium, media centre, and stockroom. Shopping malls and a food court are placed in the south zone. The adjoining pavilion accommodates the latest facilities for squash, volleyball, basketball, table tennis, and an Olympic size swimming pool. The first fully eco-friendly stadium in India, it is surrounded by green plants and also has a rain water harvesting facility. The State Environment Impact Assessment Authority and Pollution Control Board have commended the builders for the green initiatives taken. The stadium is 13.3 km from Trivandrum International Airport, 14.4 km from Trivandrum Central Railway Station and Central Bus Station Tiruvananthapuram. Construction details It was the first stadium in India built on the DBOT design, build, operate and transfer basis. It is also the first stadium in the country to be developed on annuity mode. The Greenfield Stadium will be operated for 15 years by the company that built it. It will then be handed over to the University of Kerala, which has leased 36 acres for it. The university will receive 94 lakh rupees per year as lease. Topic: <coughs> Cricket. On the 27th of May 2016, the Kerala Cricket Association (KCA) signed an agreement with Karyavatam Sports Facilities Limited (KSFL) to take Greenfield Stadium on lease until the 18th of November 2027. According to the agreement, the KCA will be using the stadium for 180 days a year from the 1st of October to the 31st of January and from the 1st of April to the 30th of May. However, the KCA can still hold cricket matches on other days if stadium is available. The KCA will be held responsible for the maintenance of the playing area inside the stadium. The KCA will pay a fixed amount as fees and will share revenue with KSFL when international matches are held at the stadium. A joint committee consisting of six members, three each from KCA and KSFL, will manage and monitor the activities during the lease period. The KCA members in the committee will be its secretary and president. First international cricket matches hosted T20I On 7 November 2017, India played a T20I against New Zealand on the ground. The match was truncated by rain to eight overs per side, with India winning by six runs. <inaudible> ODI On 1 November 2018, India played against West Indies in an ODI, the second international game to be played at the ground, with the home team winning by nine wickets. <laughs> Football The first international football tournament hosted by the stadium was the 2015 SAF Championship. India were crowned the champions, beating Afghanistan 2–1. 
The final recorded an attendance of more than 40,000 spectators. Topic: Semi-final. Topic: Final. Topic: Awards. The Sports Hub, Trivandrum was adjudged as the winner of the David Vickers Award for New Venue of the Year, in the Stadium Business Awards 2016 held at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, Madrid, Spain on 1 June 2016.